everyone. Hi, welcome to our channel. Our channel. <laughs> guys, first of all, I have to apologize to you guys. I was going to do these on two platforms. I put up an, um, a notice to scream on two uh, platforms, both here on Facebook. So getting there to start my life, something happened to my, uh, to the app or whatever, to the software. So I was going to use StreamYard. So right now I am only streaming on YouTube, which I will later uh, download and post it to Facebook. Sorry guys, for you guys on Facebook who has been waiting for this live. So guys, welcome. If this is your first time, consider subscribing. My name is Katia Valino. I am a Nigerian born based in Toronto. So you guys, if you have been following me on my social media, it's been buzzing and bubbling and people wants to know the secret of happily after, after 33 years. Why is it that we're still <laughs> together? And somebody left a very funny message and say that, oh my God, 33 years is too long in this modern age. We are not the modern people. Daddy, are we modern people? <laughs> My husband doesn't really, uh, he's not a very, uh, very talking type, right? So guys, please, uh, we are here to share some information, answer some questions. If you have any question, drop your question down below and we will answer the question to the best of our knowledge so welcome guys i see you guys here yes 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 give this video thumbs up so without further ado i am going to like pick up a few questions that people uh dropped on uh, different social medias and then i will answer that this is my husband my partner in crime my partner for life my partner for 33 years of our lives together so guys share this video while i'm trying to uh that you want to say something say hello people no you said it all <laughs> i said it all yes i'm trying to get the other questions um the questions i'm trying to see if i can share this to facebook because it's not streaming live on facebook something happened so guys, yes, uh-huh, okay, leave your questions, okay, I'm coming, <laughs> what, flies, yeah, we're just taking these as natural as, as it can be, so don't worry, we are relaxing, chit-chatting with you guys, like this is, this is home. Home, home, home. No special uh, preparations. So let me go ahead and get to the question. And I might ask you some questions to my honey so you can answer, okay? And uh, <laughs> you're my special guest. You guys don't know that this man here comes on my, on my, uh, screen once in a year and i have to beg and beg and plead so it is an honor for me to have him here to join me today on this live stream okay let's go honey i'm getting questions what there is some... tell them is that uh, you dragged me by my tail here Oh, I dragged you, you by your tail. Yeah, you have to drag me. Yes, I have to drag yeah. you. I think this is one of our secrets, right? Yeah. Dragging you on the tail uh -huh, to bring you here. I'm looking for the questions. There are so many questions. I don't remember. Unfortunately, like I said, I will not be able to be doing this live, showing it to platforms. Oh, my gosh. Fate. Should I put it down? Uh, 
I thought I would just come here, get straight to that, and that's okay. They are free. They are free to leave their questions. It's okay. It's chit chat. We are not like our super super pre planned. I read the questions to you today. Okay. Okay, so I'll just remember and then I'll ask you the questions from what the girls, from what the people say. They want to know what is the secret? What is it that kept us going for the past 33 years? What advice will you give to the younger generations that is coming up today? The things that really hold our marriage together. Is that supposed to be a question for me? Yes, it's a question for you. <laughs> wow. I don't know. What is the secret to your long-lasting marriage? Okay, that's a um, the, the question is a uh, it's a generic question, but then again, I uh, I'll personalize it because I uh, I think it's I'll uh, individualize it. Um, everybody has their own. Uh, secret and reasons why they are together but for me i can only speak for myself mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, i have always taken a position that i'm not um i'm not a marriage counselor or a marriage advisor so i do not advise rather what i would do is i will share my own experience with you then if that works for you absolutely fine if it doesn't work for you you must always find what works, what works, works for you um for me i think um it stems from the fact, um, um, first of all, family background. Um, when you, when your background is of that, that once you're married, you're married for life. Um, it guides you. That's number one. So at the back of your head, you always know that marriage is uh, something that you're going to be in for life. Um, so any chips, that anything that breaks along the line, you find a way to fix it. Also, um, the fact that from, uh, from the onset, I took a position of uh, um, just uh, leaving my partner be herself the best she can be, um, not overbearing, not overbearing, not controlling. Um, I think it works. And also, um, you being yourself, being truly yourself who you are, and not let other people tell you or define you or tell you what you're supposed to be. I've always believed that if you're comfortable in your own skin and you're comfortable with who you are, um, every other thing is a goal. So I, um, I think those are the major, major reasons uh, for me, what works for me. And uh, lastly, um, I, I honestly believe that marriage is a, a, a whole lot more than love. Is uh, commitment, is respect, is understanding, um, and with all that said, that's it. <laughs> that's not all about it, you know. But we still have to like stretch it a little bit. So from what I'm picking up here, just for you guys who are watching here, one of the key things you say here is letting me be me, and I have also let you be you. We have learned to work in our own individual spaces without without uh, 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 spilling over to the other person's uh, space. Is this true or false? That's what it is. Ha has it always been like this from day one, or do you think that age has also made us to know to be on our own lane? I think it has always been like this, but with age, with age, you now redefine it and stretch it a little further. Mm -hmm. um, if you have an overbearing individual as a partner, it will always be there. But what happens is as you get older, you get wiser. As you get older, you know that you can, it's okay. Because I, it, it's okay to lose fights. Uh, when I was younger, uh, I, I've always known that I can lose the fight, but I cannot lose the battle. The battle is to the end. But the fight is the everyday fight. You have. And also, more importantly, um, I've also learned um, that for guys, you seriously and honestly cannot win argument with, with your partner. <laughs> so the earlier you learn that you can't win the argument, or you shut up. Just just let it be. 
uh, because then there is no time you you argue, argue you can never win so if you realize that you can never win before the argument starts you've already taken your position and once you take your position you go and just let it be so are you saying that any time that we get into argument or we try to get into argument you have that already embedded in your head that you're not going to win this argument and you let me be, you let me fly, you let me jump, and all you do is sit down and watch. But it's natural. It's natural with women that you... I've never seen any, any man who has won an argument with their wives. Oh. You can. You can win that argument. And and what causes problem is when you try to insert that you're right. You know, a friend of mine said, if, if he wakes up in the morning and the wife said, you're an idiot, you say, okay, I'm what next? That's, that's, <laughs> so that, to that's, that's that's the only way to avoid even a bigger fight. So you learn you are not gonna win, and you let it be. Maybe next time or before, after that you can sincerely do something about it. But as far as winning an argument with women, with with your partner, you cannot. And if you the earlier you learn it, better for you. So the guys, I hope you guys are listening. Because women are from Venus and men are from Mars. I always say that we come from two different planets. Regardless of how you want to look at it, we know that at the end of the world, at the end of the day, God created us. But women will always be women and men will always be men. So do not try to be a feminine person when you are a masculine. And do not try to be masculine when you are feminine. You must know where to draw the line, where to draw the boundary. Marriage is not sweet roses all the time. Somebody also asked me, how do we manage arguments? This is, you said it here already, that you can never win. Pick your fights. You can Pick never win. Pick you <laughs> you can, in fact, again, I've always said not every fight that I fight. Not every yeah. fight that you fight. There are a fight that will come, you just let it go. Okay. A fight that will come, let it go. Pick, pick and choose when you fight. And when you fight, always bear in mind that you might not win the fight. But the battle is yours. Okay. You're both looking very good. I love to see people in love over time. My first question is, what did you wish you knew as a young wife and as a young husband? How did, okay, I'm just going to leave this because it's a very, I'm, I'm going to pick it one at a time. My first question, how, what did you wish you knew as a young wife and as a young husband? Young wife, what did I think that I didn't know then that I know now? I will say maybe being a young wife, I wasn't very open to accommodating so many people around me. Uh, I have always been an introvert, but people will see me and think that I am an extrovert. Yes, I love to have people, friends, but it, when it comes to people coming close to me, coming to my home, trying to, uh, you know, insert their, themselves, I always see them as coming too close to my personal space. So I have always loved my personal space, but if I have to think again, if what I know now as then, I will give them a little bit of accommodation, you know, but this is one of the things that I wish I knew as a, um, as a young wife. Another thing is that being a young wife, you are still learning your partner. You don't know everything about your partner. I was not very, that very open to learning what he likes or what, I liked. It was always me. <laughs> My husband will always tell me that it's always me, 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 me. And I've been working so hard trying to make it not to be me. Even though he said that it's always me, 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 I still don't believe and I agree 100% that it's all about me. But if I was younger, the younger me, I will, I will be more open to, uh, to talking more about it most of the time but this time when you tell me it's all about me i will just look around and uh, i brush it on the side because within me i don't think it's always all about me so, uh, <laughs> um, 
on my own part, I think um, what the question is, uh, what is it that I know now? That's you. That I wish I had known. Uh-huh. Uh, again, um, with time, you, you can, you are a product of, t- we are a product of time and change is something that is constant in life. As you are advancing in life, changes will come. Um, I have truly changed in a lot of ways and my wife has truly changed in a lot of ways. Um, I think that part, I think part of the, um, the, the, the reason why we, we weathered the storm um, in the beginning, because the things that she used to do, some of them, she still does it up until today. The things I used to do, some of them, I still do them up until today. But the difference then and now is, like I said earlier, I, uh, I learned that um, she must be her, and I let her be her to the fullest. Um, when we were younger, that was not always the case. When we were younger, because you're young and restless, you want to insert your authority. Even when she says, even when she, normally she will say no to things, you want to bend her, you want to make her say, because you think you're the man. With time, I realized that, um, I think I thought I was the man. No, okay. um, no, you, I think you think you're the man. You get it? So, yeah, when, when, when you're young, your, wife, your partner or your wife can do things or not only you will let go, but in the quest to establish yourself or that you're the man, because you're young, it's still questionable. So you go extra mile to be forceful. Uh, and and uh, many times, forcefulness never works. Usually what works in a relationship is you play on people's, uh, let them emotion, let them see reasoning why you do or why they should do what you let them do and let them be. And when you let them be, what happens? They will have time to think about it. And when they think about it, you see them come full circle and do that thing in which you want them to do in the first place. So um, using hash tone, because you're the man, you got, you, that's, that's what I mean. Using hash tone, everything has to be hash, 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 I get it. No, but I, when you get older, you get wiser. I'm going to say that. Then you realize, you know, it's not by force. Relationship, marriage, or any other thing is not by force. It comes from within. And if you let people be who they are, express themselves, even if, the, if my wife jumps up and says, I tell her something right now, and she said, I'm never going to do it. I'll be like, okay, I'll leave. Because guess what? Because I know eventually when she goes out, when she goes out and think about it, and also consider my reaction. When she considered my reaction that I was not, I didn't even give a give a give look her face when she was saying that. She said, "Okay, let me let me do it," and she'll turn around and do it. So that's um that's that's all that comes with time, and uh, time factor you can never 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 discard it in a relationship. The the longer you stay together the more you you understand everybody, each other's tendencies. Um, and also, the one thing that she, she, she missed on her own part is she's a little more patient right now than before. She's a whole lot more patient. Again, that's come with age. Yeah, I come she's, with age. She's a whole lot more patient. Than, and uh, when you're patient with people, I'll tell you something. Um, when we were younger, my wife will walk up to me and say, I want you to do this. Like she's been, she said before, she's been asking me to appear in one of our videos, which that's not me. And every time she says it, every time it comes up, I usually don't say anything. I'll just be like, and when I give her that look, she knows that it's just, please leave me alone. She will go. Her now will let me be. Her of the old days will be up on me every minute of the day saying it. And the more she says it, the more I get turned off by it. So now when she turns and walk away, within me, I'll be like, okay, she, she doesn't really bother me. She wants me to do this for her. Okay, I'll do it for her. But if, she, if I have an inclination or a feeling that she's trying to force me to do that, that's when I'll run away. I will never do it. So that's, that's, um, that's uh, all part of uh, maturity and, uh, and, uh, what age? Okay, okay. Somebody said, uh, did having, okay, how did having a kid change your dynamics in relationship when you were younger? Because really, did we really have kids young? 
you yeah. have kids young. You had, you had kids when you were young. Yeah, but you, you know, were very young. You, no, no, I wasn't very young. Or we you were very young. young. No, let me tell you the dynamics of young in this part of the world. Young means from 14 to maybe 19, no, right? That's not young. But that's young. If you have if you have kids in your 20s, you're young. Okay, yeah. From yeah. Where, because this day and age. How many people get married in their in their no, how many people get married when they're 14, 15 years? Nobody does. So that doesn't, as if you have a husband, uh, you must be up to 18, 19, 20, 20 something. So we had kids when we were young. That's why you can probably say, my first son is 28 years old or 27 years old. That's, you have kids. Okay, so somebody say, how, how did it, because really we had kids when we, when we came into this country, we didn't even know our right from our left. And the next thing you know, within two or three years, we got married. We, ha we had our first child. So how did that dynamic change our life? Okay. Do you remember back 28 well, years ago? Well, it, do it does because um, it, it does in a lot of ways. But the first is um, when, when we came here, we were very young, obviously. And... Um, we were doing things, it was all about us. It was me and you, Just, that's it. All of a sudden, the first uh, Adinaka came along and now it becomes plus one. And we used to get up, go to a nightclub without thinking who would babysit, who would do. We used to go to parties, we used to do everything. We used to pick up and go to Montreal and spend the weekend. And then the next, uh, the next night, we take a night bus and come back to Toronto, right? And then go to work the next day. So once you had a child, all that changed. So that in, in that aspect, your life changed. Also in the aspect of um, of um, the, your relationship and where you go and who you interact with, you started changing your friends. When you had children, you now started interacting with people who have children so that your children, your child will have playmates and all that. So that's how your life changed. That, so your true. cycle of friends changed. Yes. That this is one thing some people or younger people don't understand, especially women. Some women, maybe you have your friends, your colleagues, you went to school together. Once you are married, your life changed around your friends. Not because those people are not your friends anymore, not because you like them less, but because the interaction on the things you guys talk about in life is not going to be the same. Maybe they're not married. They are still in the verge of uh, dating, trying to find their soulmate while you yourself or I myself have moved on, become a mom. So my friends, we're not really my friends anymore, even though they are my friends, but we don't do much together. You take the kids to daycare, you find out that the parent of your child's best friend becomes your friend because you guys have things to talk about. You talk about kids' trip. You talk about going to a uh, shopping together. Who it's... will pick up the child if you're not? If you're yes. not, if you're not, if you're busy, you go. You go. The, the co pickups, co pickups, yeah, school, school runs, and stuff yeah. like that. So you really change the dynamics of being a new mom, being a new a new dad. Even with that, it changes. When you take them to football, to soccer, to swimming, you find yourself interacting. I with became a football coach. You I coach football. I yes. coach. I coach baseball. I cried. All that I didn't know before because I never, I never uh, played football like uh, American football in Nigeria. I never played baseball in Nigeria. But because I had a child who is interested in those, I had to go learn it, and also become a coach. The reason for, for becoming a coach is so that when they go on a trip. I will have a reason to be there. Even if I'm not there for my child, I'm there as a coach. True. So that's, that's a, very true. So if you're young and uh, you happen to get married or your friends get married, do not think that they forget about you or that you are not friends anymore. The dynamics, the, 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 the topic, uh, the relationship with you and your friends will also take a twirl because they are thinking of clubbing, drinking, meeting men, while you on your own is thinking about kids, babysitting, taking them to uh, 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 extracurricular activities, coming home to make sure that there is food on the table for your household. So this is how 
having children have changed the dynamics. How do you adapt? To, okay. <laughs> okay. What tips do you have for managing finance in marriage in general? And also when the woman is higher earner. I have to take up from this one uh, and then I'll let you in. One thing about our relationship is that we've never really, we don't even know how much, you don't know how much I was earning. I don't know how much you were earning. What matters is that at the end of the week, when we were young and restless and doing some petty, petty jobs and stuff like that, this is the beginning of the marriage. All you know is that every Friday when you get paid, you come home, you take all the money, you handed it. You handed all the money over to me. True or false? <laughs> because I didn't have a choice. No, just, <laughs> no, just, kidding. No, just kidding. No, again, it's individual. Like I said in the beginning, um, everybody have what they wish or what they want for themselves. For me, from day one, um, I've always believed that um, she managed, she manages money more than me. Everybody knows their weak point and their 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 their, their high the high end um she manages money and for years for years i never had a bank account a personal bank account and i'll tell you to my friends they are looking at me like hold on oh. guys please share this video please do us a favor share this video you might be helping someone like this video and share this video you yes just, you, just you just never had that interrupted sorry uh, it's you youtube i know i was in my line of thought i interrupted you. i wanted other people to okay. hear that too okay so um for so we're over 20 something years i never had a bank account and um upon that i don't even know how much or i didn't know up, up until now, how I much, I, how much make. I make up until today, I do not know how much my wife makes. That may surprise a lot of people, but the reason for me is she's very good with money. I can leave her with uh, with a uh, hundred dollars. If I want to do expenses, I can do expenses of a hundred and twenty dollars because my the more money that I gave her will be back and more. So, and also, um, it's also a very very. Um, common with a lot of African women, with a lot of Nigerian evil women. Um, they are good with money. That's why my father did that also, gives my money, my mother money and she keeps it. And you build trust. When you're giving and you do not mismanage it, more will be given to you. So for me, when we were, in terms of finances, it has never been a problem for me. I make money, I give her, she spends, because I know she's she's more prudent than I am when it comes to spending. And that, that still stands up until today. Yeah, some people will also, she say, how do you guys, living in this part of the world, do you ever talk about 50-50 bills? <laughs> that's what you both did now. That's, that's, that's never, that has never been an African way. And I, where I come from, I don't know where I come from. Um, in fact, the man, the bill is 100 to zero. The man gets all the bill. The woman gets nothing. So, I know. So, so I don't know about 50 or 60, 40 or 20. I, I know. When I, I always say that and people look at me as crazy. But there's something you said about one minute ago that a lot of people might not be aware of that. When people talk about family upbringing, you might not know. And you yourself don't even realize, leave the flies, please. You don't even realize the impact that your father has made on, on your mom. Me, and yes. Hold yes. on, he's on going me, to on, go and chase the fly on away. Me, ahead, yes, ahead, the impact that your father has made on you guys. You say that growing up, that your father will go to work do whatever the hustle he makes, comes home yes, and back. give and give your mom the money. Yes. And you guys, the kids we are watching, and this is what really transpired into you because you really don't care. My husband doesn't know how much I make. If I make one dollar, he does. He's never asked me. Years ago, we were talking about how much nurses make. And then he looked at me and said, do you make up to $40 an hour? Really? I look at him. And then I laugh. It's never been 
a conversation. We have never talked about it. All you know is that you do your daddy role. Yeah. You do your mommy role. You will give me lots and lots of money. And sometimes when I used to... When, when, no, 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 don't, don't sugarcoat it. No, no, I'll, you, I'll, let me no, learn. I'll let me you, learn. No, that's, I'm, I'm helping you out. Okay. I'm helping you out. Okay. The thing is, I will give you money when there is money to give you. And when there is no money to give you, I trust that you will step in and cover the role. That's the point I'm trying to make. Okay. I trust that you will step in, and you always step in. So if I see if you said this, the, 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 I said, oh, I don't. There is no money coming in today. You'll be like, okay, I will see what I can do. So that for me, that alone gives me the the uh, the the uh, the idea, or the, the the idea that you are being open. It's not always about me. I also understand there are women who will not do the same thing that you're doing. Who, when their husband says there is no money, it becomes a problem. Now, you must recognize that women like that, when their husband says there is no money, it becomes a problem. Meanwhile, they will have their own money. I hear about stories of women using their money to go and build houses in their parents' house or for their brother or, or opening a business for their, for their, for their siblings. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Behind their husband. So it caught both ways. So the fact that that I am so open-minded is because you gave me a reason to be open-minded. If if by if by adventure I was walking around and I saw somebody, oh, so, oh, you bought a you bought a car with your for your mom. God bless her soul. My anger will not be because you bought a car. My anger will be because how did I not know that my partner is buying a car? You understand? So that's what it is. Another thing that I wanted to talk before you even stop me is that I remember, yes, you say that when there is money, there used to be loads and loads and lots of money. You will come. I used to be very crazy about shopping. This is one of the things that age has to teach you. When you are in your 20s and 30s, you go, you go out there, you see a shoe for five thousand dollars, you buy it, you see a handbag of ten thousand dollars because everybody is having it it's a nigerian mentality if you don't have it it feels like you don't belong i will go there take cash when people swipe credit card i pay cash you will look at me you say nah, this is the money to pay the bills for three months if you like use it for shopping if you like shove it down the, the guts I am done with you for three months. Here is the entire money for the bills. I'll hold the money. I look at it. I say, okay, maybe I'll just take a little bit, buy shoes, buy bags, and then go and hustle so and replace this it. Is, so this is true confession. True confession. This is okay. this is one of the things. No, I know. When you grow older in age, shopping, shoes, bag, those things are none of my prerogative anymore. When I sit down here, I count my fingers. How many real estate do I have? I could have put this money into investment. I could have started real estate when I was in my 30s. I go to my closet. I open my closet. I count, 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 count. I say, I have over $50,000 sitting here. I could have invested these things in real estate, in things that yeah. will yield me money. So as you age in life, you become wiser. Okay. How, how long <laughs> more do we have? Uh, that's okay. You've done 35, 35 minutes. That's okay, honey. My contractor agreement is 30 minutes. What? Okay, it's yeah. okay. Let's make it for 40 minutes. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, six oh, more oh, minutes. Oh, but remember, I am still reading the, the questions. No, we have to we have to speed it up. Okay. Don't be saying this in front of the people no, who say no. that I'm pushing you. No, to no, you are being we are being ourselves, isn't it? <laughs> we're being ourselves, a, and um, this is the secret of our yeah, long lasting yeah, relationship. There's no script. We are being ourselves. So let's let's go get okay. on with it. Okay. How do you adapt traditional African gender roles in marriage and living in Western world? I do not understand that what is traditional African gender. Again, is uh, traditional uh, is traditional African gender roles. When I think what she's trying to say, traditional African gender roles. Being a man in Africa means that whatever you say, this is it. That's a man. So, so this is why that's a true, that's that's a classic misconception of Africa. 
and I I really struggle when people say that. Africa is what? Is Africa Nigeria? Is Africa Yoruba? Is Africa Igbo? Is Africa outside? Is Africa ethic? Is Africa TV? When you say Africa, because because where, where I'm from, which is Igbo, um, women has always had a dominant hand in Igbo land. Women has always, women has always, that is why we, we in, in Igbo land, if you're married after certain age, you become a man. After certain age that you're married, if you're, as a matter of fact, once you're married and you have a male child, you're a man. That's, so, I, that's so, uh, so, we have to talk so, about so, that. So, now, when you say traditional African rule, in my culture, women has always been deemed powerful. Because, um, and it's so, of course, there are lines that you don't cross, but they are powerful. So, the role of a woman has always been, uh, men is the ceremonial head of home. But the operational head of every household is a woman. Very true. In Igbo land. Very true. So that's, that's the operational, the engine that gets the family going is the woman. So that tells you how powerful that woman has always been in our culture. So in this part of the world, when people say African culture, that's that's a, it's very relative in my mind. Yeah, I know that my mom has always told me, one thing my mom told me growing up when I, Initially got married, he she goes, the, your household belongs to you as a woman. If you want to have a happily ever after, you the woman has the key. Yeah. Because a woman can your husband can come home and you as a woman will decide that today is today. We'll I today. must I must fight you. I must You're break into fight. your phone. I must know who is calling you. I must know how much you're giving me today. It is the woman that controls. If a woman says, no fight today, no, no fight. No, no fight. Yeah, there will true. be no fight. My true. mom told me that this is one of the things I never forget. So the key to binding and building your household is marriage. If you decide to give your husband peace, your marriage will grow. But in this day and age, there are so many men who have stripped off their pants and they are wearing dresses and they are becoming woman they are becoming woman they talk too much they forget that they are men they engage into uh altercation with their wives and stuff like that but that will be a topic for another day so let me go ahead so oh, she also say how do you manage long distance relationship okay that's a good one uh, our relationship has not has not always been long distance i hope you know that uh, it was a decision that both of us made. And when we made that decision, we, we didn't think it would be easy. We knew that it's not going to be easy. And uh, has it been easy? No. It has not been easy, both on my side and on her own side. But I will say something. I think she has sacrificed more than I have. And that's something that I always carry with me. And once I carry that with me, that this woman has literally given up her marriage for the sake of her family. Once I'm, once I'm able to carry that along, which I carry out along, it helps me. Now, in terms of managing it, I do not think, excuse me, I do not think there is um, a day of the worst case scenario, any other day that we do, we do not speak since I'm relocated to Nigeria. We speak every morning, we speak every night. And what that does for you is it puts you in line. It makes you not to forget that you have. And being marrying who I'm marrying, who is my wife, um, she will never let me forget that I have a family over here. That's that's. If I pretend to have forgotten, she will that you have a family. Um, is it an ideal long distance relationship? Is it ideal? No, it's not ideal. But it also has its own benefits. Because the benefit that it has is it, it tends to every time we are together, it's like it's like a new beginning. Every time we are together, it's like a new beginning. And if I'm if I'm in Canada for two months, two months will be like we're in honeymoon. But I also know that maybe if I was here all this time, it would not be so. So as 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 much as I can say that it's been hard, it has been hard, especially on her, 
um, especially when the kids were younger, <clears throat> because she has to be the one that do all these daddy roads, the things that I used to do, driving the kids from one one end of the the state to the other, one end of the city to the other, one end of the province to the other, sometimes country, one end of the, uh, one end of the country to the other, all in the name of sports. She did that. And guess who benefited all from it? I did. And my children did because um, they, they turned out to be wonderful, super wonderful children. And um, I can never forget that. So it has not been easy. It wasn't easy for me, it wasn't easy for her. But as long as you know you have you you have division of level, that you're doing your own part, she's doing her, her own part, things are fine. Yes, guys. I know Did I, I miss anything? To... No, you didn't miss anything about long distance relationship. There are some benefits to long distance relationship, but uh, I will not wish that on a new couple, younger couple. Who have not started life. It's, it's true, true. Yeah, I will not wish it on anybody, but sometimes due to circumstances, some people are in army, some people are in jail, partners in jail, in army, they don't have control over that. So talking about long distance relationship is gonna take a toll on the new couple who have not started a family. But if you are like us, we started long distance relationship 20 years ago. Can you guys believe that? And you said it has taken a toll on me because it's me. I will run to Nigeria, spend some months, well, come back. Yeah, you will also, yeah, also help you because um, you, you have traveled around the world more than, <laughs> more than you would have traveled. More than you would have, if I was still here. You travel like you're just a get up and go. <laughs> there is no continent in the world that you have never been. So yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, how, how many people? How many people that are here that travel two, three times a year? <laughs> yeah. So the advantages are there. Disadvantages are there. Mm -hmm. Another disadvantage. Now we're talking about this question. I'm going to take in it just a little bit to another one minute, and then we'll close. Yeah, long distance takes a toll on the children as well. Oh uh, sure. Children want both parents to be out there to be there for them. And another thing that long distance relationship had made me is that I it made me stronger because when I look around, you will not believe that my kids, when they were like 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, never go to movie theater by themselves. You see, you go to movie theater, you see young boys hanging out at the movie theater. I will cry, I will hold my kids, I say, Daddy is not around. If anything happens, they will say, your mom is all over social media. Your father, Newi man, is in the Newi. Look at the kids. Nobody is taking care of them. So it's one of the things that really, really straightened me up. Even at my kids, 18 years old, they go for their friend's party. I am parked at the parking lot, parked in the person's house, waiting for my children. And then... After one hour, I look at my time. I go ring the doorbell. I drag my kids. I say, we need to go. So it made me extra cautious knowing that you are not here. Who, what am I going to say? Who am I? You know, Nigerian community, all eyes are on you, you know. So it's threatening me up knowing that we have a professional. We have kids that play professional football and the big one. 28, still living at home. Many people will say, at that age, you're making enough money. What are you still doing in your parents' house? I will sit him down. I will say, my love, my darling, you are my husband after that. Stay in this house until you're ready to get married. I convince him he stays. He knows that that is not there. So it brings kind of bonding, extra bonding for us as entire Family. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, um, um, have I done my job? Blessed and lovely couple. Remember, blessed. Thank you so much. Cute to cute. M. De Sosa. Thank you. Life class with Kato Coley. Congratulations to you, but May the Lord bless you. Uh, G. Love. Hi, beautiful couple. Congratulations. Uh, so guys, okay. 
share the video we are going it, to it's not always uh, congratulations it's also uh, thank you for the job well done <laughs> yeah. and, um, and um, are we done I, okay, the next time I'll pick up some questions from another platforms because I don't want to keep you for oh, so there'll long. Be, there'll be next time. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking I'm off the hook. And you're saying there'll be next time. Yes. Well, really? Okay. Well, don't say that yeah. in front of the thing. What, they what, will not come back what, again. Why not? Why not? Stop why, saying why that. Why not? I'm, I'm be, if you want me to be me, I'm being me. <laughs> I, uh, I don't like to be Bukola, in front of, I don't like to be in front of the screen. Hi, Bukola I Big. Thank you, my darling from Houston. Nice to see you here. Happy birthday, sir. She goes. Thank you. <laughs> thank, thank you, thank Bukola. You. God bless you. For, <laughs> yes. For for finally. It's your is your channel, but let me say something and then you can close the way you want to close. Okay. Right? Your channel, your don't channel. scare, no, don't don't no, chase no, no, my, no. my my subscriber say well, I don't know why what would, you got to tell. Why would I say why would I take <laughs> uh, oh, no what I was even going to say was um or is um young young people getting married or planning to get married. Mm -hmm. Um the decision that you made today will live with you for a long time whether you're together or you're not together because that decision will will be you're you're happily married after 20 25 30 40 years or you've been divorced 20 times so choose wisely like they said and remember love is not everything it's not about love love they say love they say is a decision you make a decision to love somebody love is not emotion it is not emotion. If anybody tell you love is emotion, no, love is a decision. You, if you make a decision, conscious decision to love somebody, you are loving them. And why you are loving them? You are loving everything that comes with it, because there's a whole lot of things that's good, the bad, and the ugly that comes with love. That's and, commitment. Yes. So exactly. So love is commitment. Love is understanding. Marriage is more importantly commitment. If you commit that your marriage, if you if you commit that your marriage will work, you work on it, regardless of anything you can or you can cross the Atlantic, the Blue Sea, the icy to make it work. But if you base it, oh, I love him, you can fall in and out of love. People fall in and out of love. So what happens when you fall out of love? That person goes. So I always tell the young ones, uh, find somebody who you're committed to, find somebody who you respect, and respect you. It's really respect. If you respect them and they respect you, there are things you will not do to somebody that you respect. There are things that you will not do with somebody that you you, you love. You love. Care yeah. about. Yeah. So that's that's it. Okay. So did I scare them? No, you didn't scare. Okay, okay. <laughs> so right. we are leave your thoughts in your comments. We are going to come back with version two. I am going to hold you until we answer all the questions. He doesn't like to be, or she's not a social media person. Yes. But I try to tell him that it's nothing to do about social media. This is just trying to empower the youth, the younger couple, and getting ideas from mature people. Because let me tell you, guys, and we all know that the things that we hear and see every day about marriage is, uh, I don't know, I don't know. It's very, very scary. I talk to my kids all the time, you know. Children lead, children learn from what they see. And I keep my fingers crossed. You hit the nail on the head for people who are just coming. When you say, I'm going to repeat that, that when you were growing up, when your father finishes business, you take all the money, give to your mom. It is what the children see. And Maybe if you didn't see that from your dad, you will not be doing but, that, but, giving me all the money. <laughs> but, 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 but then again, you must also re remember or realize that we live in a different era now. Yes, we do. It's a matter of trust. There are some women that you, you carry that money and give to them. Boom, they're gone. So you must understand and appreciate the fact that this is a different era. But whoever wants to make it work in this era, era can ma still make it work. Is simply about commitment, it's simply about trust, 
It's simply about respect. Thank it's you. It's simply about upbringing too. Oh, because yeah. no matter what, if if people, I uh, will take for example on uh, uh, Instagram, especially young women, they see the life of the social media and they believe that this is how the world works. So this, again, this is a topic for another day, how social media has influenced a lot of the younger generation. Okay, not me, you. No, no, we'll talk about it. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you, guys. J Love. 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 Yes, guys, thank you for stopping by. We will see you guys Peace. in our next video. Bye. Love. <laughs> no. Uh. Faith. My friend, where are you going? To the power store.